A recent development in nanotechnology allows scientists to build nanostructures using DNA bricks. These bricks work a lot like interlocking Lego pieces. Each of these new bricks is made up of a single strand of DNA, and each strand is 42 nucleotides long. You can think of the strand as a Lego-like brick that has two pins and two holes. The pin of one brick is able to plug into the hole of another brick, but only if the DNA sequences of the two strands that make up the pin and the hole are complementary. The blocks self-assemble, connecting only in areas where the DNA sequences complement each other. The two-dimensional structure can consist of any number of DNA bricks, but each has a unique DNA sequence and each has a specific location within the structure. To build a certain structure, all we have to do is withhold specific bricks before we allow them to self-assemble. Using this process, we've built over 100 two-dimensional shapes, including these. But our goal is to create three-dimensional shapes. To do this, we need to make an adjustment to some of the bricks. In effect, we rotate by 90 degrees how any two bricks connect to each other. It's the helical nature of DNA that allows us to do this. All we need to do is to shorten the DNA strands from 42 bases to 32. This allows us to build in three dimensions. As with the two-dimensional structures, each brick within our block structure has a unique DNA sequence and fits in only one location within the cube. You can think of the cube as a three-dimensional canvas consisting of 1,000 voxels. Each voxel is defined by eight base pairs of DNA and measures about two and a half nanometers. To make a certain shape, we withhold bricks before we allow them to self-assemble. We've built over 100 different three-dimensional shapes in the lab from our 1,000 voxel canvas. Here is a computer-generated view of some of these shapes. And here are microscopic images of the actual shapes, as seen from above. We believe that the ability to construct 3D structures will extend the range of applications that DNA nanotechnology can address, including making sophisticated DNA devices to mimic biosynthetic machineries and to arrange guest molecules in 3D space to generate a variety of functional nanomaterials. In addition, this technology may prove crucial for a variety of applications, such as drug delivery and therapeutic applications.